Senator, Senator. Senator. So what he is saying, Lapta will pick a picture too, but uh, he will issue a comprehensive statement. But you can speak. Me, me, I can just speak, but not him. Yes. So he says he is preparing a comprehensive statement. Yes. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Effective and efficient service to the people of Sierra Leone. Are you going to mend fences with the boss? Well, um, we, like I've said many times, we've never had uh, personal differences with uh, Governor Rango. Our differences have always been around governance, it's ideological. And uh, with this now behind us, I believe that uh, we will have a uh, working for The most important thing is uh, we need to focus on the impact on the life of Sierra Leone. DG, uh, when we spoke the other day, you said there are two options. You're extending an olive branch, but in the event you are bad, you will play your role as the official opposition leader. Now, as you seek to make peace, are you going to do it uh, in person or you use emissaries to reach out to the government? I, I want to use both of them um, in person and I also hope to use elders to, and churches to, to help us uh, you know, uh, bridge this divide. Are you surprised with the vote? Well, I was confident that uh, we were going to win this one. We were con I was confident, my team was confident that we were, we were going to win this one. When it is the majority of the members who spoke on the floor, who supported, uh, who, who, who did not support your ouster, were from Kenya, Kwanzaa. Uh, did you have any help from uh, no, the members from that side? Well, I can answer. answer. Yes, sir. But now you ask me the wrong questions. <laughs> now I want to congratulate the deputy governor of CIA uh, for successfully. And if you see votes, you are, all the people who voted for him are people from across the side. You, mm. you, you can check the vote. So this was an impartial vote. And as I had predicted, that uh, deputy governor William Oswald is not going anywhere. I have been proven right because us as the Senate under Article 96 is to protect the motion. And we shall not be part of the process as a Senate to sanitize or allow political differences and disputes to be brought on the floor of the House. What we are proposing is simple, that DG Odwala as a Senator and only branch, Governor Orengo is there, there are elders in CIA, there are many senior people who come from CIA, let them sit and agree because of importance is the service delivery to the people. Finally, this vote has proven one thing, that 
us as the people who are bad from the, the other side who voted to support him, us are from the government side. We will always stand with the truth. And you remember the DG is a whistleblower. He is the one who is all a whistleblower against corruption. And the president has insisted that we must fight corruption head on. And I can assure you, you saw what happened with the finance bill. We crashed and vanquished and exonerated and incinerated <laughs> the Azimio. That is the same way, uh, knife we used to, at the, uh, during National Assembly to now. And I can assure you going into the future, we shall not allow anybody who wants to undermine government agenda at the floor of the House to succeed. So gov uh, Deputy Governor of Wall, we wish you one, we wish you God blessings, go and mend fences, serve the people of Siaya. Right. But when there is corruption, don't stop talking don't stop. about it. Sir, and I finally, I want to tell EACC in conclusion. Everybody is complaining about EACC. It's time you put your act together. There are many issues even Senator Chuta has brought at the national level, at county level. But you find EACC, when you give them information, they go and sleep the same bed with the accused. EACC should have descended on the allegations that have been raised against the governor, like yesterday and prosecute individuals. EACC, we are giving you notice, start prosecuting because we don't want the money that belongs to the public to be wasted. God bless you and enjoy your evening. Thank you. How he was on the he performed in the Senate uh, when he was the minority leader. Was this like a payback time to him or was Senator no, no, Jen? Personally, Senator James Orek was my member in jail. And I have tremendous respect for him as a governor. But he, it is him to decide how to run the county government. But if he wants to bring political dispute to the Senate, we shall not entertain. But if he had brought us facts, we would not have a problem of removing the uh, deputy governor of what? We deal with hard facts. We might have political differences, but when it comes to Senate, you only deal with facts. Thank, Thank you very much and enjoy your Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Member of County Assembly of CIA and uh, the chairman of the other committee that made uh, the recommendations for the impeachment. Honorable I, I, I want to I want to make this very clear. But uh, well, uh, others thought it was a uh, hearsay or it was, it was hot air. But today we have been vindicated by the committee ad hoc committee in, uh, in the Senate that sat and listened to everything and a real evidences, cross-examined and did what they can do. They vindicated us. A team of good lawyers, professors, who are sitting on those part that particular committee have vindicated us today. You realize that uh, when the matter came, I was I'm so disappointed by the kind of a scene we have. When the matter came to the house, all the media were there. There was no discussion on items. It was a matter of Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa. If the matters of our counties will be sorted in terms of political divisions without looking at the real issues, then where will we be? It is so ashaming that today we have been told as a, as a house that we ought to have dealt with those matters politically. Well, as Assembly of CIA, we are ready to deal with it politically. If the Senate yeah. cannot yeah. help us, we will deal with it politically down there. It is clear that we were told that we bring these matters on gross violation of a constitution which has been stated and found to be grossly constitution is violated and they have not seen it reduce it to something else well today to the people of Siaya, it is now clear you know the owner of the dog it has made noise today when the matters and even now on the address whoever are backing all this process that they have to sit because they have the numbers what we have told that whatever they did for the finance bill is what they were going to do here, and they did it. You realize this matter was prosecuted by some members of the UDA before even presenting the impeachment motion itself. So it is not uh, uh, logical. We have not gotten the justice from the Senate, and we are going to address it. When they've talked of uh, maybe the governor should have taken responsibility as the... Uh, uh, the chief executive officer, him, him being the deputy, on matters procurement, they've admitted yes, there were issues, the assembly was right, but they are saying the buck stopped with the governor. You see, when there is an interference, a criminal offense against you cannot take responsibility for somebody else having broken the law. When Honorable Duol was writing to coerce members, of, and he confirmed in his statement that he did summon uh, the director of procurement and did cause a change the governor was not there the governor how will the governor come in to take responsibility for an offense committed by a particular person and he is confirming that he did it without the knowledge of the governor so in that we really need to take
take his own. There is no mention of the governor here. Mm -hmm. The governor, in his own uh, capacity, has not played a role on these two particular occasions that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. It is him. On the two charges that have been going, he did cause a change on procurement of fertilizer. He confirmed in his statement and is confirmed by the, the, the members of the committee here. So that is an offense committed complete. On matters incitement, he did confirm for the sure Anyway, what I did was some sort of incitement, even before the committee. If incitement is a gross misconduct, mm -hmm. if interfering uh, with the procurement is a, bre uh, a breakage of uh, the law, where is Orengo coming in to take uh, responsibility? Well, uh, briefly, we need to go live, but uh, this question, the deputy governor says he's going to reach out to Governor Orengo, they make peace and work as a team. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what, what I can say is this. We have, we, have, we have confirmed, we have been vindicated here, that there is a, con, a, a breakage of law. There is, uh, the, the deputy gover governor uh, has, has uh, bro uh, broken uh, or contravened the constitution. So, them working with Orang, is it going to rectify the constitution or breach? So, whether they decided to go and work or not, the assembly is an oversight. And we are still insisting that the law was breaking. And then he do, did make it sure. when we are here, but we never thought with our ear. I, we, heads, voted with our we voted with our stomachs. Today, even the Senate committee that is sitting is voting with their stomachs. Stomach. Uh, thank, thank you, I'm Honorable Gordon of Guru Nyango. Um, I was the person who moved the motion to impeach the deputy governor. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, we have been vindicated as an assembly. The report from the, committee, the special committee of the Senate found the deputy governor to be culpable. What has played out in the Senate in the, in the debate which was going on was the political game between Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa. And it's good, we now know we are, we as here is an ODM government and is an Azimio government. And it's for a fact, it's not going to be a role of UDA or Kenya Kwanzaa senators to impose a deputy governor on us if the same committee which they selected themselves has found the deputy governor to be culpable of the charges we listed against him. So what we are saying, Odul is now a mole within us. He's working for Kenya Kwanzaa and is there to sabotage the working of the government of CIA. And we are not going to allow it. So because they have said they cannot take ownership and do what law requires because for a Senate to vote against a 11 member committee decision unanimously to find Odul having committed the crimes we uh, listed against him, it is sheer shame that we don't have a subject. We just have people who vote on political lines, even when the laws of this country, which they ensure and took an oath to protect, are being violated. So what was what here? What we are saying? We are happy. The committee vindicated us. We are happy. The people who knows what we are going through has voted for us. But we are happy that Kenya Kwanzaa has got an opportunity to show us that they have numbers in the Senate. So that's what we are saying. So Duol can start moving to Kenya Kwanzaa because it's not going to work. So this, that, well, not even in the next three months, leave alone the impeachment. What I want to confirm to this as a person who sat on that committee, there are a lot of other evidence of involvement directly by the deputy governor, but it's only a matter of time that this evidence were coming when already the process had started, so we will not introduce this as new matters. But what we are doing, from tomorrow when we will be the assembly, we are starting a full throttle investigation in this matter, and we are assuring that the link will be there. Full. We are not going to bring another one because it is obvious that if we bring another one, Kenya Kwanzaa will save it. So the only thing we are going to, to deal with him politically. <laughs> We've been advised by the